Alrighty, welcome back. So, this is part 5 of our video series on how to make a box for the water piano using Autodesk Inventor. So in the last video, we made our little mounting brackets here for our 12 our 9 volt battery to fit into, and the groove for our printed circuit board to fit into. And then in this video, we're going to make a little uh, hole on the back side for our switch to fit in. So, let's just rotate our view around a little bit so that we got the back side and what we want to do is start a sketch from the back side here. Okay, so first thing to start with, we're going to make a line from this corner here. We're going to go straight up the side 1.5 inches. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is go over 0.6 inches. Oops, look at what happened there. So even though, let's get out of this and hit Control Z to get rid of it. That's not what I want. So even though I made a line which had that little parallel marker going on, what I actually did was I kind of half highlighted this line here. So that black line that showed up, it means that the program thinks that I want to snap this line to that black line. So even though it also says uh, you know, with that little red line that I want to snap it uh, at zero degrees. Um, what the program thinks I want to do is actually snap it to this one down here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like zoom out, escape, zoom out, move over to the side a little bit. So hopefully I don't touch that line. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that. Line. Start here. Go over. So now I got that 0.0, .0 degree uh, angle going on and hit 0.6 and that line should go straight over. So there we go. So it's not the easiest thing to do to get that line in there because with all of these things on the back side that your line wants to snap to. Um, so I just wanted to show you how to sort of maneuver things so that you can actually get your line in the right place. All right, so the next thing we want to do is make a two point center a rectangle from that line there. And so let's go up 0.15 inches and hit tab and it wants to be 0.3 in that direction. So that is the slot for our little switch to fit in. So let's finish that sketch. Let's extrude it. I want to extrude this part. Whoops, we don't want that. That looks funky. We want to cut through. Now we probably don't want to cut through a whole two inches even though it's going out into blank space, let's change that to 0.125, which is the right length, or, of course, we could do two that face as well. It's all the same on this one. Okay, so now we got a hole for our switch, but we still need a couple of uh, uh, holes for the screws to go in to actually hold the switch in. So let's start another 2D sketch on the same plane here, and zoom in a little closer to our part. Make sure you get the right line. So we're going to make a line. And so we got the top part of our new rectangle. We got that highlighted. We want to go right in the middle of it. So that's where the screws are on the switch. Click once, go straight up. Make sure you haven't selected anything in the back side. So it's going straight up and perpendicular to our first rectangle. And that one's going to be 0.15 inches up. Okay. Now we want to make a line on the bottom side. Now we could mirror this one as well, but in order to mirror it, we would need to make some kind of other line in the middle here for it to mirror against. We got away with that on the other times because we set up our part symmetrically, um, but right now it wouldn't know what to mirror against. So let's just make a second line because this will be quicker. Green dot, go straight down, 0.15. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to make a couple of points. One point here, one point here, and let's finish that sketch. So now we need to make a couple of holes. So uh, we could do one there and one there, but we definitely don't want them to be 0.25 inches. So we want these ones to be um, point. Zero, or no, point 0.1, okay? And we want them to go to that face. 
Okay. And hit OK. There we go. Got a couple holes poking through. Now this is nearly perfect, but uh, so the way we're going to be mounting this is just with a number four wood screw, which has a sort of tapered head to it. We want to hide these screws as much as possible in here. So we are going to use what's called a chamfer. So we are going to chamfer the edges of these holes. We don't want it to be 0.125 inches. We want it to be around about mm, 0 0.07 is what will fit well. And select that one and select that one. Hit OK. So what a chamfer is, is it's just a straight, basically a 45 degree angle. And it's not quite a 45 degree angle. Um, you can change the angle if you want on it. Um, but it's basically, it's already set to the default angle that most screws are set to. So that's basically it for the switch. So our switch is going to fit in here and it's going to be right close to our circuit board. So that basically concludes this video.